I had a, a life changing moment, and it was from a fucking cartoon. Which I, one? Um, I think it's called Soul. Jamie Foxx is dropped. Oh, yeah, everybody's watched been it watching twice. It. Yeah. Watched it twice. Okay, so I'm not I'm not losing Everyone's my mind. Seen it. Great, great film. Brilliant. I watched it, and I was I was a little uh, up there. A little high. Yeah. Yo, up in the clouds. Yeah. And uh, I started getting really choked up. Which part? Just the overall meaning for me, what it meant was like, I think this could relate to us in general and hope to God, a lot of people out there. But like, I've always chased my dreams. Always, always, always. And I always like will never put it second place to anything. And I just keep going, keep going. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, there is never going to be the top of this mountain. It's always going to keep going. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to be satisfied. <clears throat> and I've, I always thought I was in a healthy mindset that way. But when I was watching this cartoon, look at trees and like, I don't know, but I don't know how good animation got, but it just, it blew me away. I haven't watched a cartoon in a long time, but for him to show me that life is worth living in a whole different, like, mm -hmm. it's not all about goals mm. and ambition and money. It's, it's really just about living, living in the moment. Yep. And, and it, and it just took me back and I go this year. My my main objective is to to be very healthy in my physical form and my mental form, but also I just gotta I gotta fucking cool out. Like mm -hmm. I can't let little things bother me and send me in a spiral, or let a goal dictate my whole entire month and how it either upsets me or excites me. I think I should be equally excited just going outside and enjoying being alive. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe a cartoon really made me feel like that. Drake said, I, "I love Drake. Obviously, he said in one of his uh, one of his interviews. I watch damn near all of them, and I take notes because I think he's so wise. He said, uh, I try not to get too caught up in the highs or the lows. It's kind of what you're saying. It's like uh, don't don't let either consume you. And, and and that end goal isn't your end goal. It's not gonna be. How is it, how how can it be? We've had we talked about it on this show a lot. It's the what now moment, and he had it in the." Uh, in the in the film, and he was talking to the Dorothea Williams, right? She goes, "I heard this story. A young fish came up to an old fish. Said to the old fish, "Excuse me, I'm looking for the ocean. Can you tell me where the ocean is?" The old fish goes, "What do you mean that you're in it? This is the ocean." The young fish goes, "What do you mean? I want the ocean. This is water." And then she got in the taxi cab and rolled away. But living and the spark. That 22, the soul, uh, spoiler alert, the soul that uh, couldn't find her spark, the reason that made her ready to live was just living. The spark of life was it. And I think Pixar is so brilliant because so this movie can have so much impact on people who are lost in life. Like wow. it was like a perfect timing. It was, it was so symbolic for, I think, how so many people are feeling right now in the world. And I think so many people are going to relate and like shift their perspective on life because of it like it affects the way people move and that's powerful film yeah, it really is that. it's very it's very mm -hmm. rare especially in our uh day and age where you watch a movie and it's benefiting you in a, in a good way you get what i'm saying like yeah, i feel yeah. like we watch a lot of junk and we don't resonate with it but i was so proud of pixar for like especially now in 2020 bro like i know that was last year i'm sorry but like a lot of people were down on their luck and sure. they just didn't really want to keep going and when I watched that, I was like, man, I hope everybody watches this movie. Yeah. Re I can't believe a cartoon blew us all away like that. Cartoons have that power lately. Do you know? They've been, they've been great. Like, I like I remember how much Up was. Pixar, Pixar, Pixar is brilliant. Well. They're brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're some of my favorite movies ever. Pixar yeah. animated films. I've, I've said this before. They have a brain trust. This is part of the reason why they're so brilliant. It's called the Brain Trust. It's a network of the most brilliant people at Pixar's most brilliant people so they'll go through the script and have years years of revisions man i, I bet that script was in the work for five to ten years probably Pro crazy. probably probably closer to a decade what a beautiful year to release it on no seriously oh, yeah, seriously what a beautiful year and, and the method of releasing because there's no movie theaters right straight to uh disney oh, plus yeah it was interesting it was interesting to see a movie that should have been in theaters right traditionally would have been in theaters yeah and not a lot of people would have gone broke, the, broke yeah. the box office numbers whatever it is and now it's on disney plus and i would bet it probably probably is the same if not more successful than a typical theatrical release i I'm you know what's so, funny i'm so i'm so out of touch with with these movies like considering what we watched last night and then did you watch it or no no i watched a movie called the lighthouse last night 
about two people trapped on a fucking island that was shot in a 1933 camera. Logan watched it. It was me. fantastic. Soul took, Soul took four years to write. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, four years to write. It was supposed to come out this summer, but I got to watch they, it. They pushed I it off. Do, you know, do, you know, do you know that we, I think it was primarily made for adults? Like there was a meme going around, like kids watch Soul. Kids go, oh, I, I, I like the cat. The cat was funny. Yeah. Adults are like, oh my God, that changed my life. For real. Because think, think, think about how abstract some of these concepts are. I have to ask you as a religious person, how'd you feel about how they portrayed I God love, I loved in the it. afterlife? I loved it. Um, obviously in a religious, I wouldn't be like, yo, that's, that's all right. But the views and the point, anything that's going to bring somebody to like really be excited about life, I'm super for it. You don't even have to know who Jesus Christ is. If you want to inspire somebody and you use any type of methods to inspire that person to be here on this planet happy, you got my vote. I'm with you. Like, I just want people to be excited to live. I watched it the second time with some really smart uh, foreign friends and they said this movie will not be allowed in some countries. Yeah, because it goes against their beliefs. It sucks. Yeah.